are your thoughts on this uh, rivalry game? Oh, this is a huge game for us. Um, you know, every week we know that the team's going to give us their best effort, and um, we know that we're going to have to play our best game no matter who we're playing. But a game like this, a huge rivalry game, uh, it means it's a little bit more. So we're definitely going to be on our P's and Q's. You know, we, we look to have a great week of practice and a great week of preparation. Do you think you consider Tennessee a rival? Well, other than everybody. I mean, everybody that's affiliated with this program, of course. I mean, I would think so, yeah. How aware are you uh, as players of kind of these – there's some pretty lopsided uh, betting lines. I know y'all probably don't pay much too much attention to that, but how, how aware are you of 30 point? You know, what does that mean to y'all as players? Um, I wasn't aware of that until you just said that. So, you know, that's not really something we pay attention to. Like I said, all I know is that you know they're going to come in and um, give us their best effort. So we got to be ready for that. Saturday seemed like the first time you guys have had all the running backs healthy. Ready to go. How, how much different does that make this team when all of you guys are healthy and can interchange in and out like that? Um, I, I definitely think it helps um, having a lot of guys can come in and, and make plays at any given moment in a game. Um, that's kind of what we take pride in. And any, whoever's number is called, just being able to make the play. You know, we don't care who makes it as long as the play is made when it needs to be. So you know, it's good to have all those guys out there and have a lot of guys able to, to have that chance to make a play. How do you describe uh, having good vision as a running back? What, what does that involve? Um, I mean, I think it takes a lot of things. I mean, you have to be able to see what's going to happen. I think a lot of it has to do with seeing things before, you know, it's actually there. But that comes with um, with preparation, you know, watching film, studying how guys play, and kind of seeing defense, picking up on defensive tendencies, you know, knowing teams that like to like to two-gap, um, guys that like to run sideways, you know, try to keep things from getting to the perimeter. So, like I said, I think you just kind of have to be a student of the game, and, you know, you have to know – What's going to happen before it necessarily happens? Does it mean, hear upsets process? like on Saturday when there were upsets, that? when there were upsets on Saturday? Do you, do you hear from Nick Saban? Does he mention that at all to you guys? Like, of guarding against that? Not really, because at the end of the day, you know, no matter who we're playing, um, we know it's about what we do, not what they do. And um, regardless of what happens in the college football world, you know, we're just kind of focused on our team and what we have to do in order to be successful.